Hi church, it's great to see you again. My name is Stacy Orr and I coordinate the women's events here at Heights Church. I am happy to be joining you today as we continue to unpack the value, importance, and benefits of community. I know there are many ways of looking at community. You could automatically start thinking about your church group, your workplace, people you work out with or maybe play sports with. You could also think about your childhood friendships and those you grew up with or people who share your favorite hobbies. You see, community is simply a unified body of individuals linked together by one or more commonalities. We have had some great devotionals this week that have reminded us that God has created us for community and that we are better when we do life together. And now I have the opportunity to continue to build upon that theme and talk about the fact that we are stronger together when we are in community. I must admit that when I first heard the phrase, we are stronger together, I automatically thought about the Britney Spears pop song, Stronger. Now, I recognize that I might be dating myself a bit, and some of you might not even know that Britney Spears used to have some pretty popular music, but I assure you, she did. This was a powerful pop ballad about strength, and when I was thinking about it, it was very catchy in my brain, but I couldn't quite remember all the lyrics, so I decided to take a couple of minutes to look it up, and I was surprised to see what I found. Check it out. Stronger than yesterday, now it's nothing but my way, my loneliness ain't killing me no more. I'm stronger. Here I go on my own. I don't need nobody better off alone. Here I go on my own now. Don't need nobody, not anybody. Now, if you know the tune, you might remember how easy it was to get swept up into the lyrics and you might have actually started to feel a little bit stronger. However, when you think about those lyrics, I can't help to, but feel a little bit sad. The thought that a person could be stronger by themselves and all alone is really the antithesis of what God teaches us. God teaches us that we are stronger together. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 10 through 12, in the New Living Translation, it says it this way. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three is even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Bottom line is we grow in strength as we engage in community. When I think about the word community in relationship to these verses, I can't help but think about my girlfriends. I have several groups of women in my life who walk alongside me and help me succeed. They pick me up in times of trouble and they have stood by my side fighting battles that would have left me wounded without their support. They give me perspective. I don't know about you, but when I'm left to my own devices, I sometimes get it wrong. Actually, a lot of times I get it wrong. And I try to lean on my own understanding instead of looking at my circumstances in light of eternity. My connection to these particular communities makes me stronger. Their perspective makes me stronger. Through our unifying belief that God has created us to be in relationship with each other and that he is our source of strength, we can stand together and conquer. There have been many battles in my life that would have defeated me without this unified group of women. When we stand together, we are not easily broken. A few weeks ago when I was talking about remo renewing our minds in Christ, I mentioned the concept of a couple of ABCs. Be active, be brave, and be consistent. I think these principles actually apply to this scenario as well. We need to actively seek out relationships that are grounded in biblical beliefs and grounded in the belief that God makes us stronger and has a plan and purpose for our lives. We need to be brave. Perhaps that means we need to be brave and join a, a new group, a life group for the first time, 
or perhaps we're in a life group and we need to be brave and, and start to be more authentic and giving more information about who we are and what we are doing and struggling with and how we are succeeding. And we also just need to be consistent. We need to carve out time to be in community because we are stronger together. I challenge you this week to solidify your community, lock in those relationships and those friendships that will make you stronger. Carve out time to meet with your friends, to join a life group, to go to church, whether that's online or in person. Because all these things, these are opportunities for you to be in community. And we know in community, we are better off together and we are also stronger. I hope you have a great week, church. I'm looking forward to hearing about your journey of strength. See you next time.